Hey everyone, welcome back. In the previous video, we installed our application and we also installed this Laravel GUI package, right? So now the time is to open a new tab and here I'm going to open my PHP my admin. I'm using my SQL and here I'm going to create a new database. So Laravel 10 is already added. So let me drop this out first and then I'm going to recreate this out. Uh, table, oops, create a drop of database and then mention its name click on this go and yes it's dropped and here i'm going to recreate it again right so now it's uh, created and here i want to connect it with my application so now let's go here go to the environment file and here just add this laravel 10 like this right so now i'm going to ask the chat gpt that how to migrate to uh, in laravel uh, just go here how to execute migration in laravel okay so is it going to respond to uh, us correctly create a migration it's asking us to first create the migration like this right we already have migration files uh, like uh, user uh, comes by default with the laravel right so we are not going to create this for now but later we will create a migration and then I'm going to uh, create this migration through this chat GPT, right? So it's asking us how you can create the migration like this. And if you want to execute this, you need to run this PHP artisan migrate. So I'm uh, exactly copying this, all of the stuff and then testing this out and just yes, it's worked successfully. So now let's uh, go here, give it a refresh and this will be column will be added right so there is no user so here i'm going to register myself diet niazi contact at the rate of cdlcell.com this is our official email so you can contact us through this email so just click on this register and yes we are registered successfully right so here i'm logged in and displaying that you are logged in right so here i want to create some um, post right I want to basically uh, create the CRUD functionality of this post. So here, after this login, I want to implement uh, this uh, functionality. So I need to uh, route. Uh, I need to. Uh, I need post route, post controller, uh, post model, post migration, and all of the stuff. So I'm going to ask this chat GPT to do my job, right? Okay. So uh, before this, I'm going to create. Uh, here uh, let's close this one and i'm going to first ask this chat gpt so uh, create a route for me right so i want to generate this uh, for post right uh, create uh, post uh, create posts uh, uh, post to resource route to, uh, for laravel application right you can skip this laravel application it will still generate this out create post to resource route okay i'm going to use uh, crud functionality so that's why i'm asking it to generate the resource route right so resource is a collection of routes okay so it's uh, taking a few time and uh, yes it started and it's telling us that uh, you can do this like this and you can ask multiple things uh, to this chat GPT and believe me it's a very powerful tool so sometimes uh, you start to find the information on the Google but this will bring the information right that's great just it's asking us that open your uh, routes.web.php file and add the following code okay let me go here and add the open this uh, web.php file yes I have opened this out and this comes by default uh, this comes by default to uh, with the laravel application and this one is through laravel ui package it's telling me that to uh, add this stuff great it did a great job okay just go here and add this out save this one and uh, now i need this post controller right so it's also also telling me that you need to uh, create the resource controller right that will handle the request for this uh, resource that's amazing amazing man amazing 
okay get the controller using php artisan make controller post controller that's great so let's me copy this command i copied this command and uh, here just go here and enter this command php artisan make controller post controller that's totally fine hit enter and yes it's created this controller here controller and post controller is here but uh, one thing is i forgot to create the resource controller right so let me ask this uh, to create the resource controller right okay uh, i'm going to stop this out create uh, resource controller for you can also assign this a uh, model right i'm going to assign this post model so it will uh, auto fill the um, auto fill the uh, model name in the show method in the edit method and destroy and stuff like that right so we'll create resource controller for post to model hit enter and it will uh, create the resource controller for us right okay just wait for a moment to complete this process basically i can do this in the laravel with single command but here i'm going uh, i'm just showing you that uh, uh, how you can use this uh, uh, use this tool to save your bunch of time and uh, you can build your application instantly by using this tool if i go here and if you don't know that what's new with the laravel so you can check out my this laravel 10 video where I completely explain each and everything that how you can generate multiple commands using uh, uh, PHP artisan uh, PHP artisan make model and then you can specify other things okay it's saying post controller and then resource and then model equal post that's amazing it's generating the command which I need right hit enter uh, it says that asking me that uh, a model does not exist so do you want to create this model yes i want to create this model yes and yes it's created this model here in this post model and uh, here if i go here, go to this post controller it's added this post controller right that's awesome right request this one request and stuff like that so uh, here now it's not added this so uh, uh, request right so you can generate the request also so just go here delete this stuff and i'm going to ask this chat gpt to here create a controller with the controller for post model with the form request form request okay so it's no it will generate the let me uh, stop this out and i'm going to enter this again so now this chat gpt know that my model name is post so it will generate the request to using a prefix with post right so now let's take eye on this that uh, how powerful this tool is okay open your terminal yes i open this terminal and navigate to the root directory of your application that's great run the following command to create a new controller php artisan make uh, post controller okay here is the name of a controller that you want to create okay once the controller is created you will see a new file post controller.php file okay what i want to generate next okay you create two form requests it's also telling me that you can create this uh, uh you can apply this on the store method and update method okay that's great artisan make request create post request that's awesome man that's awesome update request and here create post request so this following code right so let me follow this out here i'm going to generate the resource controller so let me add the resource flag here resource okay just go here and yes this one is created and one thing is missing so what's missing so missing is here response is missing right so if i go here go to this home controller 
let me check the Laravel version. Is this Laravel 10? PP Artisan. Enter. So this. Uh, oh my God. PP Artisan and type version here. 10.1. That's yes. We are in the Laravel 10, right? So why it's not adding here? Uh, response. Um, response types. Right. Weird stuff. So just to go here. Close this one. And uh, let me delete this controller here. Okay, PHP artisan make controller controller and what's the name of the controller is post controller with the resource right and hit enter and if I go here and it's still not generating this so respond here right. So this comes by default when we are creating our um, controller. So it's, uh, we need to define the response type. Otherwise, Laravel 10 will throw an error. So I will show you in the in the next uh, next steps. Okay. So here just create this uh, new form request. For now, we don't have any uh, request to directory here. So if I go here, this is command create post request. And yes, create request is created here right with the rules and here let me also generate this update request paste it and yes this one is also generated and here it's telling me that uh, i'm generating this for the title and body so that's why it's um, i'm generating this uh, for the post so post have title and body and it's guessed this and edit this out and that's correct right that's awesome man awesome okay just go here uh, paste this stuff here required string max and uh, required string and uh, what's next to uh, mm, max yes max is also added and here i can also add the max functionality right okay that's great and i can also add the nullable functionality too if i go here and skip this so out so i can skip this out that's good okay it's totally up to me okay let's go here and uh, now check this out that it's also added this for the update request and here it's also telling me that how to get the values from there and save this out and redirect the user back on the index page that's awesome it's also generating this for the update method too how to use these requests right so now let's uh, use these requests so before this we need to turn this on right make sure to turn this on uh true okay let's go here i think i did this here so save this one close this out close this out and here in the request i need i need to replace it with this one so what's the um, uh, name of this one so this one would be the oh let me uh, create this controller with the um, with the model name here right so i want to add this post to like this post right so let me add this comma here i want to generate this like this so you can generate this using this command so you need to add this go here post controller and then you need to add a model and then model name like here okay our controller is created to with this uh, post model and yes it's working fine okay and now chat gpt did a very great job so i want to now uh, i want to open a new route here right which is uh, post dot create i want to create first post right so now let's uh, go here here we have a post grid and if i go here open this uh, post slash create right so it's returning empty because we are not returning anything from this post controller create method right okay so here return view i want to create a new view file right so now let's go here go to this resources views and in the auth i want to create a post directory here post and in the post i want to create a new Called create dot play dot to php right and here uh, similar i want to uh, add this edit but i will use this create for both one so index dot play dot php file 
and then it's going to add one more here show dot update dot php file right great i have added these three files and here now let's copy this uh, home functionality i want to add this into this uh, create right this one this is out and here i'm going to add this uh, uh, like uh, create uh, post right create post save this one and give it a refresh and nothing is visible why i'm not passing this view here so just go here pass this uh, auth dot post dot create save this one give it a refresh and yes this is now opened here that's awesome okay <clears throat> so now i need to uh, form right so i'm going to ask this to create a bootstrap form because i'm using this uh, bootstrap that will be i use this bootstrap create a bootstrap form with two inputs um, inputs one is title and uh, other is uh, uh, other is body enter it's going to create uh, a bootstrap a bootstrap form for us but before this uh, uh, it's creating the form and it knows the know that post dot store is our route where we'll send our request it's also added the csrf token and to uh, this uh, bootstrap form and stuff like that that's awesome man that's awesome so just copy this out uh, go here go to this form and after this out here i want to paste this out paste identity little bits save this one give it a refresh and yes now we have a title and body so let me add some space here so margin top three save this one give it a refresh and yes now it looks fine enter title enter body right that's awesome and in the next video i'm going to create a new migration post migration how laravel how chat gpt will create the migration for laravel how to create new model how to make this fillable using chat gpt and don't forget to watch the next video it's going very amazing so see you then bye bye